Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and we have a little bit of a different video today. I've wanted to make this video for quite a while. I can't tell you how many of these types of videos I've watched hundreds and hundreds of different ones, I've watched them over and over again, just trying to learn everything. And I believe it's really important for people who want to start YouTube channels to watch these types of videos so they can learn from other people's experiences, maybe other people have certain tips, or you know, maybe one person grew their YouTube channel a certain way, but that doesn't work for someone else, so they watch someone else's video, and that way works better for them, yada yada yada. So I am here to talk about, not really how I got bigger on YouTube, but just tips on how you can, how you can start your channel, etc, etc. This is not scripted or mapped out in any kind of way, so it's honestly just going to be of what I think of on the spot, and if I leave some stuff out, I'm sorry, but I, I have a good idea of what I want to say. So I'm going to remind you, if you're new here, make sure you do click that subscribe button so you can join the Most Lit channel on YouTube. Fact. And give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this, more tips, tricks, advanced whatevers from me. I love to make videos of any kind, so let me know down in the comment section if you like this type of video. And with that being said, let's just jump into today's topic. So a lot of people want to start YouTube, and I wanted to start YouTube for years and years. I was always too scared to, honestly. Like, I love entertaining people, but I was just too scared to make videos and put it out there, because once it's on the internet, it's pretty much there forever. But eventually I got the courage to, and I started, and I encourage everybody to start if you want to. But the hardest part about YouTube is actually starting. Because, from my experience at least, and probably thousands of other YouTube channels can agree with me here that in the beginning, unless you're already famous from something else, or you have friends that are famous for some reason or whatever, if you're just starting from scratch, it's really, really hard. I went through a month and a half, almost two months, of literally only 57 subscribers, I think the most viewed thing I had was maybe 200, so it was honestly just making videos for like my friends and family. I was trying to get it out there as hard as I could, as fast as I could, and I was making as many videos as I could. I think I made like almost 20 videos within that time frame. It's hard for some people because a lot of people watch bigger YouTubers and they look at, they get millions of views, thousands of subscribers a day, you know, thousands of likes and comments and all these things, and they think that you can just make a video and put it up and be like that, but what you don't see is all the work that it takes and the build up to that, because you're looking at people who are already successful, you didn't look at how they got there. So. I'm here to try to help you with the how to get there to become successful. I'm not even successful on YouTube. I've watched enough videos, I've studied enough, talked to enough people to know how it works. And you can have all the advice in the world and all the tips in the world and it still might not even get you to that spot, but you just can't ever give up. And that's where I'm going to start. My number one thing for YouTube is never ever, ever give up. If you have a dream, no matter if it's on YouTube, school, acting, being a janitor, whatever it is, if you have a dream and you want to do something, pursue it, never stop pursuing it, never give up. So if you want to become a YouTuber, like huge YouTubers like PewDiePie, Logan Paul, The Ace Family, Van Oss Gaming, you know, all the huge, huge YouTubers with millions and millions of subscribers, you can't ever give up because they never gave up. If you go back and look at their video, some of them, PewDiePie started on YouTube eight years ago and he's still posting. The Ace Family and Logan Paul, I think, started like around the same time, like two years ago or something like that, and they're still posting. They've posted every single day, every other day, consistently. And so if you have a dream, never give up, even when it's like a rough patch. So a way you can get your channel out there, this is what I learned through a video and also just through experience, is try to spread out across multiple platforms, but not spread yourself too thin to where you have to worry about all these different platforms that you can't focus on one. So YouTube would obviously be your first platform and your base platform where you upload videos, but then you could also spread to, and this is what I do, I spread to Instagram where I make an Instagram directly connected to my YouTube channel and you post there and you stay active on it. You don't like post once a week or once every two weeks. You try to post three, four times a week. Good tip to do to gain a lot of followers on Instagram is you go and, you know, say you want to be a vlogging channel like me. You go to someone else's Instagram who is a vlogger and you go to all their followers and you start following them because they'll get a notification that you're following them. Not everybody, but most people will go and look to see who you are because you followed them and they will see that you're also a vlogger and then they might follow your Instagram and if you have your link to your YouTube channel in your bio, they might click on that link and go see your YouTube channel. So 
it's good to go and like as many people's posts, go in, what is it, like the explore page or something like that, or create a certain amount of hashtags. Like my hashtags, I think is like hashtag Alex Sant, hashtag Alex Sant vlogs, hashtag vlog, hashtag vlog life, stuff like that. And every Instagram I post, by the way, you can go check out my Instagram, Alex Sant underscore, but every Instagram I post, I put those in there and every single time you post, click on those hashtags and go like 20 to 30 photos from each hashtag because it gets your name across for more people to see. So it's good to spread across multiple platforms. You could do Twitter, you could do Facebook. I have a Twitter and I have a Facebook, but I'm not as active as I would like to be on there. I just want to focus on YouTube mostly, but then Instagram as well because Instagram is good to have a good following because you can also find people on Instagram that aren't on your YouTube yet or your or people that are on your YouTube and go to your Instagram and follow you, their friends will see that and then they could follow you and it's like a chain effect. So, so far we have don't ever give up and spread across multiple platforms. A key thing to becoming a bigger YouTuber is patience. That's the third one. When you first start and you're not getting views and you're not getting subscribers and likes and all the things you think you're gonna be getting, you have to stay patient and just know that if you keep posting and you keep doing what you want and you never give up, looping back to the first one, that they will start to come. I posted my first vlog and honestly, it took four days to get one view on that. And that's even with sending it to my family and sending it to people. It's just because when you first start, people don't know who you are. So they're not really gonna pay attention to you as much. So you have to have the willingness and the patience to fight through that and keep posting. And when you post a video on YouTube, make sure you also post about it on your other platforms, on your Instagram, post on your Instagram story, you know, oh, I just posted this new video, go check it out, because maybe you'll get people from your Instagram to go look at that. You have to be able to survive, per se, through the rough patches of YouTube. Four, I guess, is knowing when to post. This is honestly not super, super important, but to some people it can be based off your demographic, the people who are watching you. A lot of YouTubers post more in the afternoon slash night because a lot of people have school, have jobs, etc. So when they get off school or work, the video will come out when they get home and then they see it. So usually on weekdays it's good to post around like anywhere between 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock is a good window. Obviously, once you start to get a bigger demographic and you start to know who your fans are and when they watch and what time zone they're in and etc., you're able to put your videos out in a more of targeted range because you'll know, oh, most of my subscribers live on the west coast of the United States, so I know to post on Pacific Standard Times that best suits them because that's my biggest audience. So in the beginning, just post in that time frame of like two to eight, because that's a good time frame for most people to watch. The tags, when you go on YouTube and you upload a video and you have to enter in the title of the video, the description, there's gonna be a little bar for tags and these work exactly like hashtags for social media. If you post a picture of a cat and you put hashtag cats, anybody who looks up hashtag cats can find your photo. So if you put all these tags in there, like say I post this video about YouTube tips, how to start YouTube, etc., and I put down in you in the tags bar like YouTube tips. Anybody who looks up YouTube tips, my video could pop up there. So it is very important to put as many tags that relate to your video. Don't put tags that are like say I make this video, don't put oh the tag of the first man to walk on the moon because it has nothing to do with my video and it could get dislikes and it could get hate towards the video if you don't follow basically what your video does. Also another way, and this is one that I'm trying to work on, is doing collabs. I haven't done any collabs yet, but I really want to and I'm actually working on a few so you do have to stay tuned for that, but <laughs> collabs are a good way to spread yourself across other people's fan bases and have those people come onto your fan base and like going across in this little circle. So it's good to try and do collabs because you'll be exposed to potentially people that have never seen you before and they can come to your channel and like it. I would say one of the hardest but least likely ways to become bigger on YouTube is through shoutouts. I was fortunate enough to get a shout out that I had no idea would happen. Most of you watching this know the story of when I met the Ace family at my work and I just, I honestly just asked them for advice on YouTube. That was within that first two months that I was talking about on YouTube when I was only basically making videos for my friends and family because no one was watching. So I asked them for advice and tips and hopefully they could give me something like I'm trying to give you guys on how I could basically take what I'm doing and take it to the next step. I was so nice to them, I guess, that they decided to shout me out. I'm really fortunate to have that and be able to say that that's one of the reasons why I got super big. And guys, 
I don't want you to rely on a shout out because shout outs are really, really rare. But when it does happen, it could be substantial. Obviously you guys saw I went from 58 subscribers to 20,000 in two days. So shout outs can play a huge difference in what you've done. Make good content. It's, I don't want to sound super harsh or super mean, but if you don't make good content, if you make bad content, you will not succeed on YouTube. It's, it's just how it is. It's like in the real world. You apply for a job. Two people apply for the job. You have one person who's more qualified than the other. The person who's more qualified will get the job. Or like an acting role. The person who's the better actor for the role will get the part. So on YouTube, if you don't make good content, then people aren't going to want to watch your videos. That's not saying you can't learn to make good content, because at the beginning, I didn't even make good content. If you go back and watch my first vlog, you can if you want, but it's really bad. It is so cringy. Like, I literally turn around holding a dog, and I'm just like, eh. Like, no one's expecting you to be the best YouTuber, to make the best videos in the beginning, but if you never evolve from the beginning stage, then you probably won't evolve into a bigger YouTuber. So make good content to the best that you can. Don't let content discourage you. And just because you might think your content ba is bad, doesn't mean that other people think your content is bad. So even if you make a video and you don't think it's good, still put it out there because you never know what might take off in YouTube. Also, another tip is consistently posting. I can't tell you how important it is to remember this and do this because, sorry if the camera angle is a little different, I just changed the battery, but as I was saying, consistently posting, it's really, really important to do that because as you gain subscribers, as you gain viewers who wanna come back and watch what you're posting, they have to know when you're posting or at least have a good idea of when you are because if you post twice a week, like on a Tuesday and then a Friday and then the next week you post on a Wednesday and a Sunday and then the next week you only post once and then for two weeks you don't post at all, like that's inconsistent and when you're first trying to start off, your subscribers aren't gonna know when they're coming and you're probably gonna lose viewers and subscribers because there's inconsistency and they can see that in your channel. So it's good to tell your subscribers what it's gonna be. Like me, I post a video every single day and as hard as it may seem, it's actually not super hard and it's really fun. A lot of people do every other day, some people do once every three days. So just make your schedule clear to your viewers and your subscribers so they know when to come back. All right guys, that is wrapping up. I know I didn't go into super, super, super detailed depth about certain things like thumbnails and video length and all that other kind of stuff because that does, that is important for YouTube and growing your channel and what kind of videos to make content, stuff like that. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, if you have any questions of what you would wanna see, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to be able to help you guys in any way that I can because I looked to a lot of people to help me when I was starting, so I would love to help you guys with you starting. So I would just say the most important thing, and I think I've already said this, but the most important thing, in my opinion, in any situation, whether it's YouTube or anything, is just never ever, ever give up. No matter if you have no support, all the support, your parents don't support you, your friends don't support you, your parents fully support you, your friends fully support you, people tell you you can't if you want to do it, no matter what, never give up. You have to believe in yourself if you want other people to believe in you. If you want to walk down the street and have people be like, yo, that's that person, you can't get there without the work and you can't do the work if you don't believe in yourself and believe you can do it. Even if you right now you think you can't, tell yourself you can. Tell yourself positive affirmations. Every morning and night I read myself positive affirmations I wrote on my mirror in permanent ink so it can't be erased. I read that to myself every morning and every night and it helps remind me to keep going no matter what. Keep fighting for your dream. Don't give up. So I really encourage you to start your YouTube channel, start your dream, start acting, start getting your business degree, whatever it is, let me know down in the comment section if you guys have a dream and you're too scared to start or if you want help starting, let me know. You can message me on Instagram, alexan underscore. You can email me, alexanvlogs at gmail.com if you need help and I would be more than willing to help you and I would love to. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.